Uh, this is from On Discovering America, 1937. To hear Pearl Buck's words, and I think of Pearl Buck as the quintessential um, writer of, of fiction and prose. Some, sometimes a little badunk, dunk, 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 but to hear her writing through a poet, that was, uh, that's amazing. I'm not a poet, so, but here we go. <laughs> From whence then do all these diversities of hatred come in our country? I know very well that when I use the plain word hatred, there will be many who shrink from it and will say, it isn't hatred exactly, it's something else. But to the observer and to the person who suffers from it, it is hatred in its appearance and in its effects and must be treated as hatred. Why then do we Americans so hate each other and especially so hate those whom we consider aliens among us. I will not dwell here upon my complete astonishment in discovering that we, who are so generous to foreigners in their own lands, who rush relief to Belgium and Czechoslovakia and China and Japan, are so ruthless to the same foreigners who find themselves aliens in our own country. It must have bewildered others than I. A hundred reasons are given me for it. I am told by many that the chief one is economic. But I do not believe people hate each other in groups fundamentally because of economic conditions. Poverty and stress merely augment already existing hatreds. What I want to know is why do the hatreds exist at all? And why do they burn with such fearful heat in America, still the richest country in the world? 